All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan battle video. So, ninth anniversary stuff is starting. Uh, they're giving us a major easy A um, in the countdown, right? We're not even in part one yet, and we're still many days away. I mean, if we take a look, it's five days until the anniversary. Now, I want to talk some more about a bunch of this in a second because. Uh, I think because of Battle Hour, we're seeing some different time frames that are going to take place this year. But, I mean, it's not a big deal. It just means we're just going to see shit earlier. Um, okay, so let's just jump in. Let's take a look at what LRUI Goku looks like here. Um, I will tell you guys, I am kind of expecting big things because of what these characters look like. Um, there are so many of them I still haven't gotten through all of their showcases. But a lot of these, um, you know, attribute EZA support characters, they're busted. Busted as hell. So, I'm thinking that this is, like, leading us down, like, ninth anniversary power creep. So, I'm also expecting that we could be seeing some very interesting abilities from this UI Goku. So, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, again, keep in mind that we do have uh, the idea that the an ninth anniversary's theme is super presumably dragon ball super but Gresh did say that um it could be uh like not directly just dragon ball super all right so uh ui sign goku realm of gods key for 150 percent super scr four key 100 percent okay sure um 12 key super attack effect now this is important because uh ui goku actually did not if we take a look at it here he didn't really have a super attack effect. Uh, all he had was this disable enemy guard crap. And, I mean, just exactly as I said, it's crap. It's It, it doesn't really amount to too much. Just, you know, when you're attacking um, EGL enemies, they're not guarding. It's stupid. Uh, okay, so he gets 30% attack and defense. Okay, I mean, that's, that's what we could ask for right there. Disable enemy guard. And he greatly lowers defense. Okay. 18 key super attack effect. He gets 50%. Okay, disable enemy guard. Raise all allies attack by 50% for one turn. Raise all allies attack. Um, okay. So, they give this type of ability to characters a lot. Like, especially, like, like shitty free-to-play characters will have something like this. And it's just, like, worthless. Because, like, they're going to be sitting in slot 3. They're going to be doing nothing. Um, keep in mind that UI Goku is a 70% chance to dodge character. So, I mean, running him in slot 1 is not exactly going to be tough to do. So, like, this is, like, a real tangible ability right here. Like, this is meaningful. Alright, so he's at 177%. So he gets an extra 100%. Keep in mind that LREZAs do not get stats, right? Try as hard as they'd like to maybe, like, make Tech Ultimate Gohan have a terrible easy A. Um, it, no matter what, he's still getting a stats buff, right? Like, they have, like, a formula that they always hit. It's not like they just pick and choose the stat buffs for easy A TURs, right? Um, so, LR easy A's are very easy for them to sabotage. Look at Kalen Khalifa, one of the worst LR easy A's ever. Their initial release, I, I thought, you know, 1% in the dupe system, probably, and they're better than ever the unit in the game. On their EZA, they were fodder. So, all right, let's go and take a look at what we got here. So, you got that extra 100%. Key 4 and 70% chance to dodge for 7 turns from the start of turn. Okay, so that's that's the same. It still does have that turn restriction there. But, I mean, they don't... I mean, guys, again, it's time to pack it in with the... Oh, my God, will we get the log content? Let it go. It's not coming. All right, it's not coming. The long content. So... This, what you're probably not losing this, is my point here. Alright, so yeah, 70% chance to dodge. High chance to dodge starting from the 8th turn. Okay, so that was pretty much untouched. I think just the, the key is new. Yeah, the rest of it is pretty much just untouched. Okay, interesting. Uh, Additional 7% chance to dodge. Until this character receives an attack. Per reps of Universe 7 category ally other than this character in the same turn. Really? Hmm. 
Okay. Um, now, okay. Reps of Universe 7. We have had one major Tokon Fest recently, uh, but they're kind of ass, and that's the Int 17 and 18. I don't know what they were thinking. Um, if we go into, like, a, a fight that doesn't have insane mechanics or something like that, right, like, they could handle it. Like, so, like, they we could take them in the red zone, Goku Black, and, you know, they'll do fine. But if we go into Omega or Fusion Zamasu, I mean, they're going to get torn to shreds. Um, this character right here. I think that they are a candidate, like Super Trunks, Turles, Kale, 17 and 17, um, to potentially, like, sort of be saved, depending upon what that new mechanic, that blue Gogeta is going to have, that makes enemy attacks target you. Poss it's possible. But, I... I, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. So, reps of Universe 7. I mean, you could say Blue Kaioken, right? So, like, Blue Kaioken's got that major spirit bomb. So, like, UI Goku, Blue Kaioken. I guess MVPs. It, like, it's still weak. This guy, like, these two, AGL, UI, and in Evolution Blue Vegeta, they're going to easy by the end of the month. So, on, like, February 25th, Right, or it's probably more like February 20th or something like that. We could at least run this guy next to EJL UI, the two of them together. Um, that is really good, but it, it's it, it's dependent upon where reps of Universe 7 are. Right, like this guy could have a 100% chance to dodge, but it literally does not matter if the weak rep of Universe 7 character gets killed. Right, like it doesn't it doesn't matter. Like, that, that's the thing about, like, Kale. Like, Kale is super good. Very hard to kill. But <laughs> the Universe 6 character you need with her will get killed. Like, it's going to happen. So, I mean, when AGL UI ECAs, when Evolution Blue Vegeta ECAs were in business here. Uh, remember, like, Turner at Power 17, he's good. But he's way different when he has his Android links up. Right, when you got a bunch of those Android links up, that's when he, he becomes quite a bit better. So, okay, okay, okay. Th this I feel like this might deceive people a little bit, but, I mean, we know we have reinforcements for Refs Universe 7 coming soon. Eventually, they're going to do Universe 6 for 7 Blue Kaioken as well. Then he gets 77% defense for the rest of battle after he dodges. Okay. 77% attack for the rest of battle after he dodges as the first attacker in the turn. Then he gets one key up to seven. And then 11% attack, defense, and crit up to 77% with each attack evaded. 70? He can have... What? Yeah, that's new. He didn't have the crit. Oh. Oh, wow. That's... That's pretty good. Holy fuck. Bro. Okay. Wow. That's actually quite good. I, I mean, it's so free for him to get at four or five dodges, like, turn one, right? So the bastard is potentially just going to have a 50%. Like, he's going to have a high chance to crit, basically, after turn one. Like, you go into Red Zone Fusion Zamasu, and he lines up 50 attacks in saw 1. We know this. Huh. Ah, he does seem very good. I... So... The attack and defense... Th this doesn't change. It's just he gets the crit added to it. But that is still pretty good. And then he gets a defense right there. He's still gonna be dodge or die. Because, like, 100% defense right there. I guess this, this is a multiplicative buff, though, isn't it? Hmm. No, he's very good. And then this, too. Yeah, dude. Oof, boy, he, he, he's... If we have a rep of Universe 7, even one, who is, like, super good. I, I mean, 77% chance to dodge with a full dodge build. Ah, man. He could be crazy. Um, obviously, you can get to 84% chance to dodge, but, like, bro, I'm, 
Uh, let's be realistic here. Right, keep in mind, guys, like, Fusion Zamasu is hard. I, he's probably on his way out the door within the next couple weeks. There's going to be a fight harder than Fusion Zamasu. Keep that in mind. So, it's like, while we can maybe cope a little bit for 17 and 18 or, uh, I don't know, like, LR Roshi or something like that, I mean, we might not be able to do that very soon, right? It's going to get pretty dark. So, I mean, while this looks crazy, I, like, I, I, again, I could see him next to Evolution Blue Vegeta or AJLUI or something like that. Plus, I mean, we still need to see what the Blue Gogeta team is going to look like. Like, there's things that we need to see. But, I mean, keep in mind, uh, I mean, bro, it's going to be pretty easy, I feel like, to just run him on a lot of these teams. Because he gets that first dodge in and gets that, that multiplicative 77% defense. And he's going to be gaming. He's going to be sitting in his gaming chair with, with that right there. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, okay, so UI Goku's looking strong. I mean, I how strong? Like, let's let's see some of these numbers in game. Um, okay. Uh, whew, okay, okay. Uh, now, we also have a bunch of things announced here. So, two new story events. Again, we've seen this in previous anniversaries. Battlefield, a new difficult event, I mean, uh, Blue Zone, right, the, essentially, is what it seems like, uh, so we'll see, there's a support memory in here, during the ninth anniversary period, they're gonna get more stages, so, uh, this looks good, this, this does look potentially, so, so now, like, Amatsu was holding out on us. Like, he was kind of edging us a little bit. And now it's like, okay, like, now you get Beast Gohan. Now we get the Fire Anniversary. Now you get the Red Zone full of super class characters like Goku and Vegeta and shit like that. Like, I mean, if they're going to drop, you know, Red Zone stages against, oh, damn, Beerus and Cell Max and shit. Oh, okay, okay. And then we get the Blue Zone stages. Oh, shit, against Gogeta Blue and, you know, Evolution Blue Vegeta and stuff. It's like... There we go. Like, now that helps villains. All these villains who have uh, against Super Class Enemy, against Goku Family, all this stuff. So, yeah. We uh, seem to be in business. And a new support memory stage is coming as well. So, uh, oh, oh. This, by the way, bam. Like, these all seem to be part one content to me, by the way. So, I think this is the part one data download. Even though part one doesn't start till the 29th. The 29th. So we're going to get a data download. There's going to be a bunch of shit in here that we're not going to be able to touch for a bunch of bunch of days. And then the stream, keep in mind, is like 27th slash 28th. And there's going to be a second data download, after, I assume, after that. That's going to have Blue Gogeta, Broly, as well as potentially new Red Zone stages. Um, remember last year, like, there was a difficult event that was in the data download with the actual LRs. Like, there's other stuff coming. So, ninth anniversary, it's looking pretty good so far. I mean, again, you know, last year, Dokkan kind of tapered off after anniversary. But, I mean, we can only focus on what we're getting right now. And right now, it's looking pretty good. So, let me know what you guys think of UI Goku. Obviously, thank you to Minato's Flash for the translations. But, uh, yeah, UI Goku is looking pretty strong to me. I think he's going to be a strong uh, character to run on a lot of different teams. Uh, and Goku does, no matter what. I mean, he is a significant buff to, you know, superhero. Well, let me find, like, weaker teams. Like, Miraculous Awakening, Powerful Comeback, Legendary Existence. Like, those three right in a row. Bam, bam, bam. Those are kind of like weaker teams. I mean, Powerful Comeback's got a lot of good units on it, right? But you guys get what I'm saying. Like, this guy, he does have a category restriction, but it's just, like, he doesn't he doesn't need this to be good. This is just a nice asset. So, uh, yeah, he, he looks strong. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch y'all next time.